Whether you're a beginner or a professional musician, you need a practice plan to make practice time fun and effective. In this lesson, I'll share five practice tips. Hey, I'm Andy Fling, the founder of MakingMusicFun.net. We create resources for elementary level teachers, parents, and students. If that's you and this lesson is helpful, please consider subscribing. Let's get going. Here's tip number one. Plan how long you'll practice. I set a practice goal for my elementary age music students of 20 minutes a day for five days a week. If you're a little older, try 30 minutes to an hour a day. If you're enjoying the piece you're practicing, spend a little extra time this week and surprise your teacher. Tip number two, figure out what you want to get better at. Many students don't know what to do when they practice. They often play the pieces from beginning to end a few times and then wonder what to do next. If you can point to three places in your music that you want to get better at before you're finished practicing that day, you'll make tons of progress every day. Tip number three, make practicing a habit. No matter how much time you practice, stay consistent. One of my students soon became one of my most talented students simply because she was consistent. Pick a time to practice every day. Maybe it's right after school. If you're homeschooling, pick a time during the day between math and spelling or history and reading. If you miss a day because mom took you with you to run errands or you miss a week because of a family vacation, it's okay. Just get back to your practice routine when you can. You'll be happy you made practicing a daily habit because you'll soon see amazing results and you'll be able to play the pieces you always wished you could play. Tip number four, practice slowly. Practicing slowly might be number four on this list, but it's the number one thing I focus on with my music students. Most music students try to play something four or five times to get it right, when they could have gotten it right on the first try. All they had to do was slow down. When I say practice slowly, I mean really slow. So slow it might make you crazy. I tell my students you're only getting better when you're playing it right. Practicing slowly will help you get it right far more often. Tip number five, keep trying. Music can be challenging at times and even frustrating because you can't play something. Your teacher always picks things for you to play that will challenge you. They want you to improve, just keep trying. Eventually you'll be able to play your piece and you'll feel great that you didn't give up.